Alright, I think we're live. Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. Hello, hello. It's Bean bonus stream today, day today. So let's get the Bean in there, there he is. There's our... There. <laughs> There's our favorite pal, the Bean. Um... We're playing Nanosaur 2 today. We're continuing with the Pangea Software Extravaganza. Let's see, how many games do I have left after this one? Let's see. Let's see, there's Billy Frontier, Bugdom 2, and Mighty Mike. So there's only three of these left. We're gonna finish with Bugdom 2 will be the grand finale. Bugdom 2 will be the grand finale. Next time we'll probably do Mighty Mike. Anyway, today is Nanosaur 2. I don't know, like, Nanos the first Nanosaur, I think, was my least favorite of these games so far. So, let's see if the, um... Hey, Rainy. Rainy, go on. Rainy. Come on, get! No, no, you're not supposed to be there. Go on. Go in. Go in. Yeah. She doesn't like when there's a storm. And she tries to go over there. But, like, if I let her go over there, then, like, she will go over there all the time. Well, the graphics are massively improved in Nanosaur 2. This is probably the most. This, uh. This is the most graphics Pangea Software game I've played so far. Do you think this happened in real life with pterodactyls? Do you think they just exploded when they touched the ground? Well, I can... Oh, okay. I kill things by screaming at them. Understand. This is, uh... I don't know what that thing does. An egg. I got the egg. Oh, I thought maybe I put the egg in that thing. I have no idea where I'm supposed to put the egg. Oh, I can shoot. I had to switch weapons. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, the other dinosaurs don't just explode in the sun. They did in the first game. You haven't seen this game in ages? Hello, welcome to the stream. I've never seen this game before at all. Well, I played the first one a couple weeks ago. There we go. I don't know where I'm supposed to put this egg. There was like a... maybe maybe the egg goes in this thing? There was like a nice radar system. Okay, the egg goes in there. Gotcha. This game has the most graphics out of any of the Pangea Software games I've played so far. This one must have come later. I'm curious to see what Bugdom 2 is gonna be like. Got an entire missile or something now, I guess. Another egg. Let's go for it. It's so tricky to try and grab the eggs. You don't really have any like speed control. Like you can go faster, but um, going slower. 
Cause, like, that's as slow as I can go. I had like a... I had like a rocket option earlier, or like... I don't remember, I don't know how I was doing that. Maybe I don't have any rocket boost at the moment. Like that the trees catch on fire when they get a shot. It's very graphic. The premise of Nanosaur games is too much stress for a little kid bug to even try playing them. <laughs> well, they, I, uh, honestly, it's just the first one is just not very fun. That was so I've been playing all of this developers' games because they've all been ported to modern PCs. For free, I might add, which is cool. Um, Nanosaur is my least favorite out of them. It just wasn't that fun. So I don't think you were missing out on too terribly much. To be honest, it is good that they that they're still available to play it. For sure, games preservation is always good. Even if you play said preserved game and don't really have a good time. It's a good thing it's preserved. What does this weapon do? You just set the whole damn forest on fire, I'm sure that will... That'll do as well. You know, the, the, all these plant trees reminds me. Um, I think it's wild how long pine trees have existed for. In essentially the same state that they exist now. Like, if you went back in time to when dinosaurs lived, uh, the trees would just be, like, completely recognizable to you. Which is bonkers to me. Yeah, this one is much better. I think f the flying instantly makes it more interesting. <laughs> the first, <laughs> the first nanosaur essentially was just made. Like, like it seems like it was made in a relatively short amount of time. And just to show off the new quick draw 3D feature that Apple computers had at the time. Like that was. Oh no. Like that was the entire purpose of um, the first Nanosaur. So. Oh, now I have rocket boost. Oops. <laughs> Maybe I had rocket boost the whole time and I just was pressing the wrong button. You just press A. I should probably pick up all this ammo while I'm here. Also, this game doesn't seem so. The first Nanosaur, part of the reason I didn't like it that much is it was on a strict time limit. I don't know why I would need to shoot those dinosaurs. They don't seem to be doing anything wrong. Like, at least some of them try to attack me. And also, there's like the robot stuff. Like, you can understand why I might be compelled to attack those. But a lot of the dinosaurs, it's just like, why would I even fight them? This game does seem to kind of suffer from the same issue of Nanosaur, which is you gotta do everything all in one go. And if you get a game over, it's like, alright, start over, do it again. It's like, come on. 
the whole thing. Really? It's like, it's so easy to die too, because it's just you crash into one freaking thing and that's it. You're done so. I am having a better time now that I remembered how to use the rocket, though. Gonna give that some credit. Right, there's gotta be an eggy around here somewhere. Because there's a teleporter. There it is. I find the eggy. Eggy, eggy, eggy. <laughs> I dropped the eggy. No, come back. You think Diddy Kong racing flashbacks? I like the little, like, firework effect when you break those. I flew through here the other direction last time. It seemed to be back at. Yeah, I've made it back to the starting area. So let's try going back through here again. Um. Running out of rocket fuel. Or whatever that symbol denotes. Rocket charge. Get away from me, please. I don't want to start over. Oh, more rocket. I figured out that the blue one is rocket. I don't know what purple is, though. I don't think I've ever even seen a purple one. Oh, that's my shield! Alright, so, so, you know, sometimes I get shot at, and the little shield shows up. That's what that's about. This weapon's pretty good. You don't get a lot of it, though. Alright, now I'm back to where I had lost last time. Let's see what I do this time. I know there was an egg around here. Oh, was I crashing into the tree or getting shot too much? I don't, I can't even tell. Was I paying attention to my health? Ah, oh, the egg. I found it. I knew it was around here somewhere. And the teleporter's over there. Using the rocket to get out of here. I missed the egg somewhere. That's not good. I love how the trees look in this game. Oh. I say as I fly directly into one of them. Yeah, one thing I can give for this game is it's 
infinitely more interesting than um, Nanosaur 1. I don't know if I'm enjoying it that much. But I'm enjoying it more than the first game, for sure. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Really? Oh, egg. I'm gonna die from being shot at. Oh, I died from running into the thing. God damn it. How long have I been streaming this far? 15 minutes, huh? It feels like I've been playing it for an hour. Like I'm already done with it. I'll give it one more. We'll do one more try. One more. I resent having to start over from scratch though. Let the record state, I resent this. Wait, there's an eggy around here somewhere. Like, you can't properly land. Like, when you come down to the ground, you just start skidding around. It's really goofy. This is a silly goofy video game, actually. Well, I did not manage to grab that. Let's try that again. There we go. Oh, screen. Okay. There's our next eggy. Um, oh, come on. Like, the thing is just right over there. All I have to do is... Just... There, thank you. Since not collect all the eggs, by the way, it's just collect the different types of eggs. There was like two of them over there. I only need the one, actually. Because you need one of each type of egg. Also, I like that they've simplified. So it used to be, so in the first game, you have to find the egg, and then you have to find the teleporter. But in this game, it seems to be that if if you see a teleporter nearby, then you know there's an egg nearby, which really simplifies the process, makes it a lot more painless. I appreciate that change, for sure. Or if you find- well, alternatively, if you find an egg, you know there's a teleporter nearby. There it is. Alright, I missed this one last time, so that's good that I found it now. Look at the planet in the sky. What planet is that supposed to be? I guess this is this can't be Earth then. Earth doesn't have a planet in the sky. Hello, welcome to the stream. I 
I mean, this is completely, well, it's like completely different gameplay. It's completely different in the fact that you're flying now instead of running around on the ground. But like, it's the same general concept as, um, Nanosaur 1. I think it's just executed better here. I'm basically every front. Oh, come on. Still suffers from some of the same annoyances, though. For sure. Plus a few of its own new annoyances. But I'd say this is definitely the better game. Alright, I got an... I think I've already been over here. I wonder if I am supposed to collect all of the eggs this time. Because I noticed there's been two blue ones now. Oh, okay, I am supposed to collect all of them. Well, it's slightly unfortunate that I've been skipping some of them then. Oops. <gasps> Rockets of some kind. I really wish there was a way to put on the brakes, though. Like, circling around and, like, slowing myself down by touching the ground. Not that fun, I'm gonna be honest with you. Oop, I've crashed into the tree. There we go. Alright, there's an eggy over there. Iggy just for me. It's so funny that the trees catch on fire when you hit them. Well, fuck me, I guess. Oh, the teleporter's over here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, huh? I was trying to get around the tree. Ugh. All right, that's enough, Nanosaur 2. <laughs> that's enough of that. All right, out of all the Pangea software games, I have been the least impressed with Nanosaur. Nanosaur has gotten pretty short looks too because like I don't I I don't want to keep playing it from the beginning over and over. This is not very fun. I'm going to be honest with you. In fact, you gotta do it all in one go like that. And it's so slow paced and there's so much of it, it's just like, ugh. Like arcade games, I don't mind playing from the beginning every time because they're usually really fast, you know? Like you're doing stuff all the time, you know? Whereas this is a lot of like... <laughs> and like nothing's happening, you know? <sighs> The difficulty is in that if you mess up, you gotta do it all over again. And it takes forever. Oh, 